love the animation on these machines, it's just amazing. And it's just created by having two patterns overlapped with one another. Really, really bright. And I'm just a bit of programming. Hello, so these are my new Veritech. Well, actually, they're not that new, they're about five months old. Uh, Easy Move 90 Watt LED profiles. And they're quite standard, and uh, but they've just got some fantastic features in them. They're really bright, and they're only about five hundred pounds. Anyway, I'll show you the modes that they run through later. Once I've carefully taken the cover off, and uh, inside it's got some interesting features like the um, the controller that uh, controls you know all the parameters and all of the stepper motors is mounted inside the head as opposed to down in the base uh, and that reduces massively the amount of cables going up here uh, and in actual fact it's just four control cables uh, two lots of power coming into this block here and then another two lots of power going down to the LED source which has got a pretty decent except for quite loud fan on the back a heat sink and um, yeah, the, the light source at the front there, and it goes through many, many different uh, levels to get to the the patterns it was seen on the wall there, and um, it, you know it's just amazing all the different effects it can create out of one unit. I mean, look at that; it's all like the gobos are animated. Um, so yeah, incredible. And uh, the way it does that is it got has a, um, a color wheel, which is this one here. Sorry, it's not very clear. My phone's not picking it up that well. Um, followed by this static gobo wheel and a rotatable gobo wheel just down there. And um, after passing through all of those items, it then goes into the main focal lens, which slides back and forth. And then finally at the top there, you might just be able to see it, the prism. Uh, oh, it's just slotted into place now. And back out again. And with all those features combined, it allows you to sort of like morph between the gobos. And when the focus is way out, it also forms quite a nice wash light. And uh, you can do watery type effects like that. And... You know, the prism also is quite interesting because it's quite spread out and some prisms, the gobos overlap one another in the centre and this one it's sort of quite far out. So, you know, that's that's cool. And it definitely is bright. It's been measuring about 130 watts on the amp reader which I think is pointing at probably about an 80 watt. LED source, even though it claims to be higher than that, uh, but I'm I'm happy with that, and I've compared it with 50 watt LED fixtures, and it's definitely brighter. And um, but anyway, the most interesting feature of it is that with some profiles with multiple gobo wheels, I've noticed that as the focusing lens goes back and forth, uh, it really doesn't do anything apart from bring the the, the patterns into focus. Whereas what this uh, focusing and seems to do more is go out of focus into focus on the uh, rotational gobo wheel and then into focus on the uh, static gobo wheel before going out of focus on both and, uh, and so it allows you to morph between the, the gobos and to add this sort of shimmering pattern in behind them anyway I'll just uh, pause while I show you some more features of the thing from a distance they're just running in auto mode at the moment. Just got two of them synced up. And, uh, yeah, pan and, two, um, pan and tilt is very smooth on these units. And actually not much louder than when it's just running on, uh, you know, standby. 